What? Walk barefoot? I can hear you say. Are you kidding me? It's 2022. She must have gone completely mad. The majority of us have this reaction because we are completely sold on the idea that walking or running without shoes is impossible. Watch the full video for the truth as I share with you research studies that prove otherwise and make you believe in what Sebastian Nip said. In bare feet, life is happiness. Stay tuned till the end. Namaste. I am Gargi and you are watching The Aligned Souls, where we talk about mind, body and soul. Let's dive in. We have been walking barefoot for millions of years until recently when we invented footwear. This simple act of walking barefoot is called earthing or grounding. In fact, barefoot running also is not a new phenomenon. In 1960, Ethiopia's Ebebe Bikela won the first of two consecutive Olympic gold medals and set a new world record, all while running barefoot. Findings of a recent research study published by Taylor and Francis suggest that walking barefoot is a viable and low-cost activity to facilitate greater feelings of nature connectedness and psychological restoration. It stimulates the sense of touch for feeling closer to the natural world. A leading medical science journal, Nature, also published a study in 2010 that highlighted the benefits of barefoot walking. Recently, barefoot running too has been increasing in popularity among runners, many of whom claim that running barefoot or using minimalist shoes will reduce injuries and improve performance. Researchers have begun to investigate these claims of increased performance and safety by analyzing the differences between full shod, that is wearing shoes, and barefoot running. In fact, a research published by the Open Journal of Therapy and Rehabilitation found that the difference in the strike patterns of the foot is quite significant and barefoot runners show an increased force load in the forefoot. Eliciting a forefoot strike pattern while running barefoot compared to short running, which is just a fancy name for running with shoes. These dynamic changes allow for a more spring-like effect for barefoot runners, creating a less transient and slower rise in force. In contrast, a heel strike pattern in short running yields a rapid and high impact collision between heel and ground. As a result, Barefoot running translates into less stress on the joints and back and therefore less risk of injury. Modern living has ripped us of our connection with Mother Earth. But consciously making an effort to spend more time barefoot in nature can provide more benefits than you would think. Number 1. Walking barefoot reduces pain and inflammation. In his book, What Doctors Don't Get to Study in Medical School, Dr. B. M. Hegde states that Mother Earth contains innumerable biopositive free electrons which boost our immunity. When we walk barefoot, these free electrons get absorbed in our bodies. This helps to reduce acute and chronic inflammation. Cortisol, which is the stress hormone, its levels go down. Pain, stress and sleep troubles greatly reduce. Since grounding reduces overall pain, it should come as no surprise that walking barefoot can ease menstrual cramps as well. Same is again reiterated in the book Earthing. The authors explain that earthing is the solution for chronic inflammation, regarded as the cause of most common modern diseases. They claim that exposure to the ground provides electrical nutrition in the form of electrons. They call it vitamin G, G for ground. Just like vitamin D, vitamin G is also crucial for our health. When we insulate ourselves from those healthy electrons, we are pushing ourselves towards illnesses. Number 2. Walking barefoot reduces cardiovascular risks. According to a study published in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine, earthing increases the surface charge of red blood cells. This results in the reduction of clumping in the cells, 
which therefore decreases blood thickness and since high blood viscosity has been a major cause of heart disease. Earthing appears to be one of the simplest ways to reduce cardiovascular risk significantly. Number 3. Earthing influences the bioelectrical and physiological processes of the human body. According to Dr. Hegre, Earth's negative potential can create a stable internal bioelectrical environment for the normal functioning of all body systems. Now this is huge. It basically means that earthing positively impacts the functions of our entire body. Articles published in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine prove the same. Studies published in the journal state that earthing regulates the bioelectrical and physiological processes of the human body. Bioelectric currents regulate tissue and organ functions and help govern metabolism. While physiological processes are the ways in which organ systems, organs, cells, tissues and biomolecules work together to accomplish the complex task of sustaining life. So earthing has been found to have an influence on both. In layman's terms, it means that earthing strengthens our immune system, it improves our sleep, regulates our nervous system and decreases feeling of anxiety and stress. I will share the links of all these research studies in the description below. Please go through them for further details. Number 4. Balancing the Root Chakra or the Muladhar Chakra The Root Chakra is located at the tip of our spine. It is based on the earth element. When this chakra is balanced, one experiences strength, stability, energy and confidence. Walking barefoot and connecting with Mother Earth energizes this chakra and gives us a sense of confidence and being grounded. It provides relief from anxiety and depression too. Number 5. Increased focus and attention As someone who has always used shoes, I was not very comfortable walking bare feet initially. I was very fearful. What if there is glass in the grass? What if there is some sharp rock I step on? Etc. Etc. So then I started walking very carefully. I paid more attention to each step which helped improve my focus. It also increased my awareness each and every second as to where I was and what I was doing. I was fully present in the act of walking when I did it bare feet. It gave me immense peace, inner happiness and a sense of calm. Number 6. Increased Grip Walking barefoot gives us more grip as our toes help in clenching the ground. Footwear at times interferes with balance and as a result the risk of slipping, tripping or falling increases. Research published by BMC Geriatrics shows that barefoot walking might be superior to short walking for balance training in older adults. Now that we know the benefits of walking barefoot, let's just do it. But is it that simple? I don't think it's a practical solution given the kind of world we live in. I can't possibly ask my kids to start going to school bare feet. I feel if we are intentional about it, we can at least increase the time we spend bare feet. Once a week, we can go to the beach, if we have one nearby, and walk barefoot on the sand. We can walk on grass, which is drenched in morning dew. Gradually, we can increase our exposure to different surfaces like rocks, stony surfaces, mud, etc. The way we are not used to walking bare feet, our feet are also not ready for the same. Our foot muscles are weak due to constant cushioning and we will do more harm than good if we decide to go for that barefoot run straight away tomorrow. So please, go slow. Take your time and develop strength in your foot. A word of caution. When you walk barefoot in the open, ensure that the surface is clean and safe so that you do not get infected or injured. There should be no glass or sharp things on the surface. Let us get together and teach our kids that it's okay to be bare feet. It's okay to run without your shoes and that it will help you develop stronger feet. My kids would always forget to wear their slippers and I would freak out every time I saw them bare feet. I would start lecturing them without knowing any better. 
Now, I take a deep breath and relax every time I see them without footwear. I'm at peace that being kids, they are more connected to Mother Earth. And it also spares me a few moments of quiet. Thanks a lot for watching and do subscribe to the channel for more videos on building a healthy mind, body and soul.